someone told you Showed you pictures at school All the world turning round They put the globe in your hands You remember it well Then they told you to spell It was your first magic trick And all the images stick To the back of your mind Let them slowly unwind You're learning to breathe You didn't come from the sea you were born on dry land And then you learn how to stand On your own two feet You found the rhythm it beat And just cause someone told you Showed you pictures at school All the world turning round They put your head in the clouds Oh yeah, I got, yeah Yeah, I know, I want to look at this closer yeah, yeah, please do take some pictures and look it up. Post it on Facebook. Say, hey, these guys believe you're this slide. See what kind of conversations you can spark up, maybe, you know? You'll just know as people will mock it. Of course. They're doing pretty good, I think. Four cops up there now, I think. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. I think that's talking. Of course, you can live on a bubble in a vacuum. That's real. Do you guys care to entertain it? Oh, that the Earth it. is flat? Check that. Oh my gosh! Please, check it out. Hey, Earth's not a ball. We can't prove it. We're, we're looking for the curve. It doesn't exist. Obey your government. Have a look, guys. Thanks. We're not the Flatter Society. That's disinformation, by the way. It's a bunch of nonsense. Uh, have you heard Flat Earth about much of it? Anything? Yeah. I mean, okay. probably a lot of propaganda, a lot of memes telling you how stupid it is, right? Where's, where's the edge? Planets around? Why? Well, I mean, that's obviously Earth is round, right? Mm -hmm. But that actually doesn't prove anything. And it's a presupposition to say the Earth is round, or uh, there is an edge, I mean. We, I personally don't think there's an edge. It's just I mean, so much evidence to support that it's flat and motionless, and zero to support that it's a globe. And so when you actually look into it to support these things, to verify your belief, you start to realize it's just a belief and there's no observable, testable, repeatable science to, to, to show you that you live on a spinning globe. It's actually not any real evidence, no real uh, scientific method to prove the Earth is spinning. Obey your government, don't um, look at the information, please. There's all kinds of scientific evidence proving the Earth doesn't no spin and question, ether authority. exists. Look up uh, Microsoft Morley experiment, uh, Aries failure, Mitchell and Gale. These are all experiments so done bad. from the 17 to the 1800s, <laughs> early the years, question. right? So. Um, I don't try, I'm not trying to have the claim I have the answers, I'm just trying to provoke the thought here, that's what we're all doing, we just want to know the truth, and a lot of people are waking up to this, a lot of people are starting to understand everything is a lie, we can't trust our government, we know the government lies, you know they're trying to control us, when you go to fly for kind of travel, the, uh, the border interrogates you, you know, from like 9-11 and stuff, which is again another false flag, where they basically blew up their own towers just to commit these, uh, you know, to, to terrorize you, and to put fear mongering in you, and now they get the right to search you and treat you like a criminal anytime you want to travel. Um, so when you understand that they are controlling everything, we, they, they're hiding a god, a creator, I believe, in an intelligent design specifically. Um, they trying to prove, claim that we've evolved from monkeys, uh, that evolution has no actual uh, scientific method to prove it. You can't prove we evolved from monkeys. I mean, do you guys believe you came from a monkey? Do you believe in, you clearly, you believe in evolution. I can I ask you why? Because they can't prove it, you know, there's still a missing link. <laughs> it's, there's not one species that has been ever witnessed observed to uh, evolve into another species. Not one. So we can't verify that. There has been. Like what, what species has evolved to another species that we can verify that has happened in, in our time. With, I mean, like, if you just look at the Darwin experiments. The, the experiments, uh, these don't prove nothing. And a lot of it is, it's a conjecture, it's a theory. Okay, well, a scientific theory is the closest we're ever going to get to a fact. Okay, the so, The well, only reason it's called a theory is because they're still looking to improve it. There's no such thing as a scientific fact. Well, there is. I mean, it's uh, water lays flat. That's a fact. That's a fact. It's obvious. It's observable, testable, and repeatable with scientific method. Okay, well, gravity's a theory, and I dropped that. That doesn't prove gravity is real. That proves that it's heavier than the air. That's relative density. But also, gravity proves that we are not floating above Okay, so what's gravity? Einstein or uh, Newtonian? 
I mean, you don't two contradict each other, right? Mass attracting mass or space time curvature. I mean, I'm not going to try to prove gravity. I'm not saying that. You can't. There's, they can't prove gravity. There's no evidence of gravity. That's why it's still a theory because it's not proven. No, it's. To, to, say, to, say, to tell me something is forcing that to the ground is not evidence. That just tells me that's heavy in the air. A helium balloon defies gravity, the theory of gravity. A helium balloon can float. Why, where's gravity then? It's strong enough to hold all the Earth's, uh, Earth's ocean down, but it's not strong enough to take a balloon down? That's not evidence. I'm not going to try to argue anymore because I'm not going to pretend I know about science. I'm not trying to claim I know any better than any of you either. I'm just, we're just here trying to provoke thought. What I certainly don't want you to believe it. We don't want you to believe it. I want you to look into it for yourself. This isn't about us trying to Anybody? tell you to believe us. It's about provoking can I get a thought. Okay, I, I experiment where you take gravity out of the equation what so we can tell that gravity is what makes things fall. And, from and, knowing and that's, a typical, that's a typical question a lot of people I, do. Yeah, yeah, sure. yeah, I've heard that one like a thousand times now. And people do the same thing because, well, control to short to, in short, the idea is that if you don't know where you live, if you don't know anything about your own life, or where you, the people, or the earth, or how you came from, history, it's control. They control everything you do. They, they control the money. If we live in an age of technology and information, we're struggling to live and survive. We're constantly uh, you know, living in fear, barely getting by, struggling to pay bills, and working, and not really enjoying ourselves. How is that living? How is that living? You know, it's, it's we live basically in a controlled environment. Everything around is controlled. That's why they're hiding. They're hiding, they're hiding a creator. They're hiding that you are unique. We're all unique. Everything is special about us. And these are important things to realize that the creator does exist. Now, there's biblical beliefs in fire things around there. I'm not biblical. I just believe there is intelligent design. I believe in all kinds of different theories and stuff. And we don't claim to have the answers. Again, flat earth is not a claim, my friend. It's an observation. We observe the earth flat and motionless. We observe water always lays flat and level. It's, it's, these aren't claims. It's an observation. The claim is that the Earth is a globe. The globe model is rife with contradictions and demonstrably false. It's just as simple as that. When you try to prove the Earth is a globe, you'll come back with nothing. With scientific, observable, possible, repeatable science. Real science. That is, those are facts. Data. It's using that data is being a science denier. Because when you, there's no measurable curvature, if you cannot measure it, you can see way too far. Horizon always rises to eye level. Planes don't adjust for curvature. And if the Earth is spinning, how come planes don't go the opposite way of the spin and get there a thousand times faster? You can start thinking logically about this stuff. It makes sense. None of it. They're telling you makes sense. Well, you they can't, haven't talked to us. You, can't, you cannot prove that the Earth is spinning. There's not one scientific so test proving the Earth is spinning, man. I'm telling you. I, I would love to argue with you as you I'm not trying to argue with you, man. I'm not trying to argue. I'm just trying to plant seeds in your head. I would, I would, love, to discuss, I would love to discuss as you continue to spit out the same lines over and over again. But I have to go eat <laughs> and then study physics, which is like science. Okay, so, yeah, so. sure. Well, uh, if you can. Don't look at it. You guys care to look in the forward? It's not a spinning ball. Oh wait, the ball has a oh, thank you. There is a there is a for you. Hey, don't look at it. Don't look at it. Look away. Don't you trust your teachers? Your teachers would never lie to you. You must trust. You must trust your teachers and obey them. Trust them. They have been elected to teach you. To educate you. Don't question anything. <laughs> okay. Somebody actually had a heart attack or something over there, eh? Don't look for Major? don't look for curvature. Yeah. Don't look for the vacuum. Somebody actually like had a heart attack or something over there, I think. <laughs> they heard they heard about the flat earth. <laughs> don't look for curvature, don't look for spin. You live on a spinning space ball within. You can never question the authority. They only tell you the truth. Government would never lie to you. Don't look at the information, whatever you do. You must trust your government. Don't look for curvature, don't look for spin. Don't look for the vacuum next to air pressure without a barrier. Of course you live on the same Yeah. Don't look. Look away. You must obey. Listen to your teacher. Does that ever cross your mind? Or just even... Okay. No, I mean, you know, like maybe don't the technology know. that we have now has allowed us to see that water lays level and flat when it's contained, and there's no measured curvature. Because to have curvature, right, that means that you live on a ball. 
like a basketball, yeah. baseball, they have curvature, right? Yes. And so if we can't yes. see curvature over a body of water for like 50 miles. There's no spinning ball. I can't prove it. And we can make these observations like lighthouses and the Statue of Liberty, for example. We see things too far. So that's one starting point that I would encourage you to check out is the dynamics of water. I mean, you go up here and you see a couple of fountains. Now you'll notice that up here the bricks are uneven, but the water that's contained inside those bricks is level and flat from point A to point B. So just because the container can be unlevel and not perfectly straight ahead, doesn't mean that the water contained in it can't be level and flat. So. Similar to you guys, can you entertain, uh, provoke some thought or what? No? Don't care about learning anything new? Hey guys, you're about to hit out. We gotta go see the Obey your reputation. Obey your government. They would never lie to you. Yeah. We are just people out here that are making observations. We're not part of any group. And we just want to share the information that we found. My my point is like with this one, mm -hmm. like yeah, what I'm looking at. No, because the reason the people travel from Australia to America is because of like the no, but there is no, borders. There is no flight aviation from travel. Here to here. You believe in Australia? We don't believe that Austria doesn't exist. We're That's nonsense. Oh, I believe that. Oh, you think? Are you, are you in a flat society? Are you really? Because you have to do that. Okay, well, do you know that they. So you subscribe to a disc model floating up and accelerating? I'm more of a fan of the whole Earth theory. Domes, yeah. Okay. So, like, the Earth is a bowl and it's filled with water okay, right. floating on top of the water. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, Africa. She but I mean, I know people who have personally been in Australia, it definitely exists, so. I respectfully My, my, my bandmates, yeah, personal friends of mine. Have you been to Australia? No, but I, I, know, I personally know scuba divers who've gone there, and I personally have bandmates who've gone there. Huh? People lie, man. Like, Do you, you think my personal friends are lying that they went on a flight to Australia? I know people who are Australian. I, I know all kinds of Australians, though. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, but, but why believe something like that as opposed to... What's the what's the gain from believing Australia doesn't exist? Well, it's observably flat. It's not a belief. We observe it flat and motionless. Like Australia observably doesn't exist. It does. How do you? Where the hell? Are you in Australia? No. People lie. Well, until you go and fly there for yourself, you cannot prove it doesn't exist. Where am I going to fly to a place? Well, you take a flight. There's flights booking. You can go book it. You can go look and buy a ticket. Yes, you can. We can't buy a ticket to go out here and fly around the bottom of the earth. And be so Yeah, they... That, that does check out. When they go to the South Pole, when they, when they say they go to circumnavigation, they fly out here to a little ceremonial pole they have stuck on the ice. Yeah, and there's no east, there's no east, like if people think if you keep going east or west, you'll come back around the same spot. Well, that's not true. If you're, if you're just point east, then you would keep, you would eventually go south, because you always have to turn, because the north governs the, the pole. You always have to turn because it's governed by the north pole. If you're right here, east doesn't go this way. It does a circle. Yeah, it does a circle, yeah. There's no north to south navigation. And another thing too is, like, yeah, you know, there's no flights like this across. Why do they always land in the northern hemisphere and then come back down? It, it, it this, is, this is much closer than that. No, because and also if the Earth is spinning, why don't they go the opposite direction and land there? Planes don't adjust for curvature. There's just this stuff doesn't add up, man. I'm telling you, this, this doesn't make sense at all. This doesn't make sense. This does. That does. There's a thing called the Antarctic Treaty. Which says you can't go there without scientific like, uh, research backing from lab. all Sheep. of the governments who signed the treaty. Did you guys like a pamphlet? No. So look into it for yourselves. There's a lot of misinformation, brother. There's, there's, we're not the Flatter Society. We're just people here trying to provoke thought, not claiming to have all the answers, and not claiming the, anything. Really, this is this is an observation. It's not a claim. Well, no, I, I get I get that there's like what, certain like ideas against like, like you should. You, I, I agree. You should definitely question what you're told. But like to to, to an extent, it it becomes like 
Crazy. No, no, I, I, if you look at the, uh, I don't know, he, he's talking about the government, but it's not like the government. You have a pamphlet if you like, though. You're welcome to it. It's free. Sorry. No, we're good. No, it, it's, it's not like it's the, the government that's telling you. It's not like it's, it, it's, it's the ancient Greeks that are saying it. Well, no. NASA, Isn't there more evidence in 1970? Well, no. People were arguing about this in 1970. Yeah. But 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 the original proof of the Earth is flat was done in ancient Greece, or ancient Egypt. Stick shadows, stick shadows. That can be proven with a local sun too. Small local sun can be shown the same example, which we do. No, no, but it, but it has to do with where where they lined up. In the, and how, how the lines lined up with where you stood and where you looked across, you should be seeing the. Yeah, and so and so it was, and th that's the idea. So he did it on a huge scale. It wasn't just like this little experiment in his backyard that could have easily gone wrong. Well, by then they were pretty good at like, measuring time for where they were. I mean, it just like doesn't. The other, the other. So two thousand years ago is your evidence to live on the globe. Where, where is that proof no, now? Two thousand years ago is the start of that evidence. And it's still going strong. He does say it, you can quote him, you can look at the watch the video yourself. Because of the local sun, it's much smaller, and the shadows come... When you look up at the sun through the clouds, you know, crepuscular rays, they triangulate when you see the sun through the clouds. Where does that triangulating go? It's pointing to a sun. If you think the sun is 93 million miles away, which is really unfathomable, ridiculous, it would all be parallel rays. It doesn't, it doesn't make sense that we see triangulation. The sun's radiant heat proves from dust to dust. It has to do with the lens in the eye, though. the rays. No, no, it doesn't. The, the, the rays, the rays transferring, because I, I, I study film and stuff, and so you have to look at like cameras and lenses. That has to do, the ray spread is, it all goes to the sun because of your eyeball, and the lens in your eyeball. No, no, I'm not talking about you looking at the sun, I'm talking about the sunlight coming through clouds. Then you're standing back, and these rays are going away when they're from doing you like spacewalks outside, Yeah, because of because of the the way the yeah. And so if all if everything is hitting a point, and then they're reflecting off they of that white cloud, cloud which is the most reflective the color. Almost. Almost. So I mean, I mean, other things you know, you're so well, they, they Yeah, they they, they break that's through it, and I don't, that doesn't make sense that you have a sun sitting right up there. It does actually. It's, it's clearly obvious. You know, they've. How do you think they know the distance to the sun? They speculated for many many years. That would not be possible. There's maybe like two or three videos of her. supposedly a guy you in a able to see the sun training the, in a vacuum. Uh, a hot you can tear them apart. Yeah. yeah, like here. See, there's see that? See, there's a hot spot here. Another guy standing who's not that, suit. That's showing you a local sun. It's right, it's right there. It's right there. It's it's still it's it still comes down to a perspective thing, though. Well, you can believe that, but they don't even know how far the sun is. They, it's all conjecture. Everything about space and planets. Three thousand miles, twelve thousand miles, thirty-three thousand miles. Okay, fine. Ninety-three million. What does? Yeah. It's so so, but what? So let's say it's a huge billions cover up by NASA. NASA and the government. What do they stand to gain by covering up? $58 million dollars a day NASA takes a loan. A day. NASA, a day. Yeah. Oh, no, NASA makes a ton of money. I think they should cut most of the budget and make it private stuff. SpaceX then. What does SpaceX stand? $400 million. That's what they stand to gain from lying. So, so it's just them. They're like, okay. Control. Maybe all those people. They're turning wrenches and doing this. How many of them get up on that thing and go flying up in that rocket? I I mean, like a couple. Mm. Give you hundred bucks, you prove you live on the globe. But so I give you hundred bucks if you can prove you live on the globe. No, no. Just, just trying to provoke the thought that you can't. That if you can prove you live on the globe, scientific method, observable, test of repeatable. I'm gonna find you after I prove. No, no. I'm, right now, it would have to be. You'd have to give me. You'd have to give me an obvious example that would be you'd be able to prove it. It's flat, flat is not a claim, it's an observation. You don't experience curvature, don't, you don't experience motion. I've been on top of a mountain I've been in a plane and I've curvature. also seen high altitude footage of over a hundred thousand well, feet. Your whole, your whole, uh, uh, uh is off when you're in a plane. No, we have, we have Why is that? Because you're looking straight down. No, I'm not looking, I'm looking out and, I'm, and the horizon always rises to eye level and it's flat. 
Yeah, but planes don't adjust for curvature. They don't go the opposite direction either of a so-called spin to get to the destination a thousand times faster. Like they do, man. Well, look into it. They don't. I'm telling you. Ask any pilot. Do we adjust for pilot for curvature? He'll say no. Yes. Oh, no I, 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 I personally know pilots and engineers, and they're all planes don't fly over the Pacific Pacific Ocean, man, because it's a waste of time. They go over. See the, the flight the path here. See the, the flight path there. See they're going from Australia to uh, to, to Chile. See how, see how yeah. going. Why, why would they go from a northern southern hemisphere into the northern hemisphere and then back down and the flat model because the curvature of the earth they just come they just come right across that makes more sense I mean, than going up and then down flight pass makes sense on a flat model we can all pick a picture that makes sense in our we're no, but that's argument, what they claim man. is happening though that's what that's, that's what they, one that's one on, picture why, why don't they just go across that's not one i can actually name all kinds of flights well, to do I can that name all kinds of stuff that isn't true too man. well you i don't care if you believe me or not again i'm not trying to convince you here sir i'm just i just hope you would look into it and we're trying to provoke I've, the thought I've, I've looked that's all well if you have looked into it in all honesty sir with a skeptical uh, non-biased opinion you would not be having this conversation the way you are you would you would be looking further into it and go you can at least admit that you don't know because that's the same thing we don't claim to have all the answers we, we don't know everything well, it's observably flat where do you where do you from see curvature here. where do you see curvature from here, man. dude you're, you're i drove from, i drove from canada and i flew to australia a couple weeks ago there's no curve Hey, take care. Seek truth, my friend. Seek truth. Unplug. <laughs> oh yeah, we got that on there too. I didn't notice it. Yeah. Coming from the sun. Not at all. That pretty much proves that the sun is a lot closer. You know. Ninety-three million miles away is enormously far away. The light would essentially come in at parallel lines. Like yeah, this is what it should look like. Yeah. So when we see this, we mean it, it yeah. tells us that the source Take care, of light guys. What? I mean, like I said, don't believe anything we're saying here. Just investigate it yourself. I'm with the back end of the building. Yeah, don't listen to that at all. You know? Go out and try it yourself. That's what we're out here trying to get people to do. You have all these capabilities to do all these things yourself. You have the eyes, you have the senses, you have a brain. Make discernment for yourself. That's all we're asking. These are their observations that's being done, the test, and showing. This is what the Earth looks like from high altitude. That looks like a local sun and a flat plane to me. You can do them yourself. You can you can hot high, high, high up here a balloon and yeah, you can set up set up with a camera and on an fisheye. Yeah, that has nothing to do with the sun. I'm just saying that one's kind of kind of rad. Yeah, this has nothing to do with how high the sun is. This is just observable. I think it's more just on an angle right now. There's atmosphere. There's all kinds of things that can distort it a little bit, but. I mean, the curve should be, you know. Yeah. If, if people are saying they can see it from an airplane, and this is four times. Yeah, higher and, than an yeah. and this example right here is the same thing. Like, what makes sense, right? You don't experience this or this. That's what we experience. Water. If the Earth is uh, over 71% water, <laughs> and water always lays flat and level. <laughs> Well, I think we're only just looking at really small sessions here. Round like a nickel? Round like a nickel or a pizza? Yeah. Yeah. So you round and fear can be two different things. Penny's round, pennies round, or So that's called like double speak and they always, always, when you see the media, they say round or uh, We think Earth is round too. At least the part we can travel yeah, and see for ourselves. Yeah. Here's a little demonstration of how the sun reflects light. Don't look for curvature, don't look for spin. So the this, glass, glass, this glass dome has a similar refractive index of the atmosphere. So the Earth doesn't rotate. We know there's, there's, yeah, we know that the Earth is stationary and the sun is You can watch it every day. It just looks so cool. The Earth is stationary. <laughs> Earth is stationary. Oh There's not a single test that can prove the Earth is Everything moving. in the sky that you see moving is actually moving. How do the seasons happen? Local sun. Oh, yeah. The sun moves closer towards the North Pole in our summer and closer to the outer edge. And the majority of the light. So the sun every so often will just decide to move closer to the edge. Yeah, not closer, just straight up. Like, yeah. It's right above it. So in this winter solstice here, it's now going to be summer.
summer in Australia. Big circle. Yeah, and it's gonna be winter for us in the north. So it's shining on the outside. But during the equinox, it's gonna come at the equator, and then the summer solstice, it's gonna come around the north. Now, now in the north, you can go up there above the Arctic Circle during the summertime. No, what do you mean summer in Australia? What? Summer in Australia. You don't believe Australia exists, apparently. <laughs> I know I have personal friends who have been there, and I many personal friends. So have you I, been there though? Well, have you been there? We have no so then agree to disagree. Well, I'll tell you what. Go book a flight and, and go for go on it. I I, I have no I have no uh, reason to believe any of that because don't question anything. You must obey. But, hey, agree to disagree. I'm not. You must obey. Um, if you can if you can give me some observable testable evidence to prove it doesn't exist I would gladly check it out honestly I'm on YouTube you can contact me scuba Dracula one word uh, and please uh, comment on one of my videos and uh, like with a link or whatever or, yeah maybe comment first if you put a link it might go into the um, I need to approve it and I'll always see them like that so just comment say blah 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 talk to you and then I'll get back to you my email is generally on my information as well Left all my cards in my truck. Yeah, I know that. Critical Inception. Here's my YouTube channel. Critical Inception. Thank you. What about birds? I've seen videos about them. Birds are government spies. What? Is that a meme or something? It's just a meme, right? I thought they used drones for that kind of stuff. I mean, yeah, they're making drones that kind of like birds and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, they're oh, I'm sure they do have weird people saying that every stuff bird they can have like a, a micro uh, bird watching goes remote. Both ways. Well, they I mean, uh, sure, but what about them though? I mean, aside with, what does that have to do with flat earth birds? Well, it's not necessarily a matter of opinion if you have all of the facts. And you okay, what well, for like to the south, you mean when they migrate south? Because they want to be warm, right? <laughs> not all birds do, but. They just fly south because they know that's where the sun is. They also have a natural, they know the cardinal directions. They, it's a natural thing they have. They can just sense the north. That's like the average sun that jumps over across. So like so let's say the majority of the light. No, they're not. That okay, and then they're the around it in outer space. Yeah. It's constantly moving. Outside of the cup, if you're inside the cup. And so here it's in the outer ring. And then it starts to slowly How do you get outside of that cup? In the spring and the fall, it's right here. Okay. Yeah, or and then up north in the fall, something like it's that. Not, poke it. It's not oh, consciously yeah. yeah, you can poke a hole into it, right? So, yeah. so you're saying that every time they go to outer space, they're poking the a hole in the Earth's atmosphere? On both models, it's a circle. Yeah, so how do we have on both models, it's a circle. Gas systems next to each other? Okay. Well, <laughs> Yeah. The circle. Yeah. No. Okay. Yeah. So then on this model, if you're on Earth, we can no. verify that. No. The North Pole is in the center. Okay. So you're looking okay. down, okay. and then the okay. southern, okay. The, southern the southern areas is kind of folded out. So this was modeled off of this map. So the only way to contain helium. And then they just flattened it. This came long before the globe. Mm -hmm. The azimuthal equidistance projection. Who is it? Alberuni. Alberuni. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so Persian scientists came up with that, that uh, a thousand years ago. And then they've had different projections since, you know, Peter's uh, projection, and this one's currently the, the mid, uh, what is it, the Peter's, Peter's no, that, is that not the, uh, Mercator's? No, Mercator's the, where the green is like huge. Oh, is it, well, green is not here. Oh, green is up here, so it's not showing, it's not showing the actual the size of the line. No, but, yeah, this is showing like a more accurate size. Is it? Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. No, but Peter's, I think, is more elongated, too, though. Isn't it? The Mercator's the elongated. Exactly. Is it? I don't think it was the other way around. Well, this is like a Actually, no, I think you're right, because that, that does look the more elongated. That does look more elongated if it's, if it's Mercator. Yeah, I mean, I thought that was Mercator's, but either way, I mean, we know <laughs> it's all bullshit. You're right. Okay. You are right. Thank you. You've convinced us. I will look into it. No. Yeah, we don't want to convince you. We want to wake you up to, to, it, to the deception. Consider me awakened. Take care. Thanks for lending us your ears. All right. All right, guys. Great job. Good job. High five. <laughs> high five. All right. All right. Go team flat. <laughs> Joshua, team flat, brother. Team flat. Bam.
Mm, look at him, he's killing over there. <laughs> Team SC. Yeah. Oh, okay. Alright guys, gonna call it a day here, packing her up. You see the sun of the moon In the late afternoon You might not think it's strange But there's so much to explain Like why the sun sets When it's right and motionless We're not spinning away It never was that way Ooh, when the lights go deep There ain't no gravity Under your feet Too many theories now we're hearing Someone told you And doesn't mean that it's true It's time to think for yourself Test the globe and see